How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls and people, and my friends abundant everywhere. I am the professor in this place, Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. And we are investigating the elastic properties of some things. You remember I made clear that a rubber band is falsely called elastic because it is not. I mentioned, I believe, that steel is highly elastic, glass is highly elastic. Now we wish to consider this more circumspectly. Supposing I have an enormously massive slab of highly tempered steel resting on the solid earth. And I take up here above it a little steel ball, highly tempered too, and I drop it from a height, say, H1. Now, if it were perfectly elastic, perfectly elastic, it would rebound to height H1. But no things are perfectly elastic because there is nothing perfect made by man. And steel balls are made by man. So it rebounds, and I'm going to replace it offside a little bit. It rebounds to some height, say, H2. Now it is so elastic by definition. The coefficient of elasticity or the coefficient of restitution, how much it's restored, can be shown for those of you who know the mathematics to be the square root of H2 over H1. For example, supposing it dropped down, it uh, dropped down nine feet and rebounded four. I picked some numbers that don't fit this picture but clearly E then is two-thirds. So, if I drop something else from the same height, it will rebound to a different height. And indeed, things which are highly elastic will bounce for some time.